right, let's get to it, get to it straight out the gate. All right. Break the ice on the front from the jump, but break the ice. Ice breaker. Females in this industry getting passed around. Talk about that. So it's been going on for years, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> mm, I bet. Like for real, it's been going on all the way. I don't know. Like shoot, probably Dorothy Dandridge. Yeah. You know, a long time ago. Yeah. But I mean it's like, the way this shit started you know, me in the second episode, you know, do we get a pass? Yeah. Um, no, we don't get a pass, but sometimes we get passed around. Mm. And uh, one of my goals um coming in, and you know, series always be like, you know, were you popular in high school because you you know you mm. might end up being real popular. And um and he always said that uh this was so funny. I was popular in high school, I was valedictorian, I was senior class president, I was president of my high school sorority. So, you know, the popularity it's, it's nothing to me because I, I just right. like, I'm a regular person. Like they might used consider to us, it. they might consider us um, you know, local celebrities, but I'm just mm-hmm. I'm just DJ Gorgeous, Aisha. Right, right. You know, that's that's who I am. Like I I'm humble. I don't mm-hmm. feel like I'm better than the next person. Right. So I remember he used to tell me, I always keep um, you know, if it's not a straight guy, keep a keep a gay guy around you, it's gonna keep the dudes away if you're single. Uh, I've heard that before. But I ain't never heard I, I never keep anybody around me, but I yeah. always said coming into the game that um, I'm going to build my name off of respect. I'm mm-hmm. not going to sleep with this promoter or that DJ or this person or that person because yeah. I don't want to be known as the passed around girl because there's a lot of females that's in the industry that get passed around mm-hmm. and then they lose a lot of respect. But then again, hell, a lot of them look at Lori and Lori got passed around, you know what yeah. And then they yeah. feel like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Right. So it's just like a... Back then, it used to be frowned upon, and now it's not frowned upon. Mm-hmm. It's the regular. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's all about who's hot. Like, I, we see it all the time. Like, this girl was with this person, like the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. It, I don't know if they getting passed around or they passing these. That shit, they passing these <laughs> niggas around. Right? They doing it the goddamn Man, passing they around. Passing yeah. around. They doing all so, time. They, they hypnotize niggas over there, boy. around parties. Everything. I ain't gonna lie, boy. You gotta be, you gotta know what you're doing. Fuck one of them Kardashians. Yeah, so you, you gotta be careful. Like, you you gotta be careful. In the industry, like, they. Women just get passed around, and I don't know if they try to. Okay, uh, situation like Portia right now. I'm watching her show or whatever, mm-hmm. and she she's been married. I mean, her situation is just crazy. She getting passed around basically, like mm-hmm. just passed around, and it's like, oh my god. Because I this how crazy situation. What like, third? What marriage? It'd be her second. Her no, second. Well, she was engaged, so mm-hmm. yeah, that's too much to think about. So um, I was just like this. As a female, you don't want to get passed around. If you want to be respected, mm-hmm. you have to be respected. You have to just tell people no. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's easy to. It, I feel like if I honestly though, I'm gonna be at one. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I slept with a lot of people, I probably have more gigs than what I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I didn't sleep yeah. with those certain people, then they stop booking me, or they mm-hmm. just don't want me to come back, or you know, like well, that. But it's like, what if I would have slept with him? Then he would have got what he wanted. It would have been the I same thing. Wanted, that's what I mean. Yeah. So it was like a lose-lose situation. But yeah, it be the same at the thing. end of the day, by me not sleeping with him, I keep my respect. Yeah. You got a story uh, that you could tell about a time where somebody tried to, you know what I'm saying, play you on that type of tip yeah, that you never would have thought would have done that? I can't think. I can't recall of them, but they, they happen all the time, Q. Mm. They happen, like, all the time. It's mm. just never, like, a time where I don't where they don't hit on me and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't expect that. Damn. But I just know how to handle myself. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was raised by independent women that told me how to handle myself and I, I've seen them go through so much dealing with men. Mm-hmm. So, to the point where they didn't almost lost their lives over men. So, it's just like, I'm just really guarded. Yeah. Yeah. How you how you feel about when men do that? How I feel about Try to you? use... What they have to benefit you, but you gotta have you gotta do something in return. I just feel like it's low. Mm-hmm. It's like the lowest of the low. Like, like, what are you getting out of this? Yeah. And what am I getting out of this? Well, you getting the sexual pleasure out of this, mm-hmm. but what am I getting out of this? I'm not getting anything out of it. I mean, it happened when I went to a gig in Mobile. They happened to me, and it was just like, wow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you ain't expect it. No, and it. And, I went by myself. I feel like if, if so, you drove went, all the way down there. Yeah, mm. and I feel like if I would have went with somebody, he would have never disrespected me like that. Yeah, and that's how I take it. I take it as disrespect, mm. and I know a lot of females have to go through it. Um, artists, yeah, DJs, you know, anybody mm. in the industry probably has to go through it. So, how do you stay strong? You know what I'm saying, knowing that 
this person may have a lot of money or this person may have the connects that you need to get to where you need to be, but you don't fall into it. I mean, it's my mindset. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. letting it happen. Like, if, if mm-hmm. my mind is my, if my mind is made up, my mind is made up. It's mm-hmm. kind of like, if I don't fuck with you no more, I don't fuck with you no more. We ain't friends no more. We not friends anymore. Or if you did me wrong, and mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? I was there for you. You weren't there for me. It's like, once my mind is made up, it's not going to happen. So, it, yeah, I might need the money to pay my rent or something. Yeah, like I'm that. saying, you going to be you gonna think about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you can't say that. You're going to be Jada Pickett every now and then. I know, guys. Mind. You're going to be like, God damn. God damn, God damn. 2000 <laughs> sound <laughs> good right about now. I'm in the bind right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it's your, it's your pride, too. Yeah. And then it's like, you got so many females looking. Like, in, in my situation, I got females looking at me. Mm-hmm. And not just... um my age, yeah, girls in high school looking at me, right? You know, they they watching me, so it's like I can't do this because I don't want them to do it, mm-hmm. and it, that's one of the reasons why I brought Wine Fine Divas mm-hmm. because I mean when I was in college I saw the promoters trying to sleep with the girls, so they still do it, you know, yeah. to try to get in the club. The girls and slept with the dudes, of course. Wait, wait, like hell, it raining. I can't get in, so it's like let me put together my promo team. They ain't got to sleep with me because I don't go that way. <laughs> right. We can get in for free wherever I'm at. Mm-hmm. We just and we gonna help each other out because we women. So if she got a, a water bottle business. I'm yeah. helping her with that. She she a hairstylist. I'm helping her with that. So it's just like, how long have you had it? The um, wine fine. fine. Oh my god, I gotta look at it. I don't know. It's been a couple of years. I'm just mm-hmm. bringing them back though. Gotcha. Probably That's dope years. though. I'm bringing them back. It's just a smaller amount of us. Mm-hmm. But it's the same girls. That okay. So same it's, same crew. It's probably like five or six of us now. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm bringing them back and um, we just trying, I'm just trying to help them out. Yeah. Have you ever um, thought about like creating or uh, attending like a self-defense class and stuff like that? Yeah, I thought about it, but I, you know, my auntie taught me what to do. She told me to put the keys in between my hands mm-hmm. and just say Where, where's ass out? <laughs> where's ass out? <laughs> so I don't know. I might, Cut I might his do ass that up. And, and maybe do like some boxing classes. So... Yeah. Self defense class, yeah. I've seen a couple that come up. I just don't have time to go to it. But the next mm-hmm. one that come up, I would love to go to it. That'll be dope. Gorgeous boxing. I mean, yeah, I think I invited to somebody to teach me how to box. I, I need to exercise. I be in ace to one telling them all the time. I, I be trying to get out there, man. I be out there telling them, come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. We're going to start from the beginning. Yes. Beginner stage. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to do too but much. Ladies, don't get passed around, okay? Don't get passed around. Definitely don't. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even date DJs. You hear me? You know how many DJs want to talk to me? Ooh, <laughs> word, you don't date no DJ. Well, even if it's not a DJ, is anybody in the industry, would you date them in the industry? Well, see, I've said, as I said, if they in the industry, they might have to be like on a P type level or something. They gotta, on a P. They gotta, okay. So why you don't date DJs, other DJs? What's your reason why? It's so competitive to date another male DJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, it's, I don't think, I don't Is, is that, like, or you think it's the ego? It's that too, the ego. Cause what if I'm still doing better than you? What if you uh, listen? What if you try to date me because you mm-hmm. want to get? You feel like let me try to get on. Her I can level up if I date her. And then if you don't get to that level, then we are going because you feel like I'm not helping you get to that level. But I can't. Right. Help, you got to help yourself, and it, that's with me in the picture or without. Me. But I think that draws a line too. Yeah. If he's looking for you to help him, yeah. mm-hmm. he already starting off wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's already a wrong start. Yeah. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm not saying that they might be. This is how I feel sometimes. Mm-hmm. They, you feel like they how they unfold. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like why? Why do you want to talk to me? Yeah. Like I don't know if I would want to date another DJ because I don't want to be in competition with my my partner. Right now, if we become partners and we do something outside of together, DJing, yeah, mm-hmm. outside of DJ, then it's a little different. But we still DJs, but we even came together and we just mesh. I just don't really mesh with nobody. Right. Right. Mm. Now, we we go to your social media and stuff, you know, you definitely yeah. bring out the gorgeousness out, right? Uh, yeah, post you, every five minutes. No, every no, five no, minutes. No, no. <laughs> you got to post every five minutes, though. Hey, but, you know, whenever you make these type of posts that you make, they're kind of provocative at times. Mm-hmm. If you were dating somebody and they told you, hey, yo, you can't post these, how would that make you I feel? I would post it. Mm. Because um, in a relationship, I do believe in being submissive. I was like that with my ex. If he didn't like something, I took it off. I took all the pictures that he didn't like off. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to put more tasteful stuff up there. Mm -hmm. So I do respect it. And I respect what they say. Like, you can still be gorgeous, but in a tasteful way. Right. That makes sense. But since I'm single, I could be naked. But uh, naked. (laughs) (laughs) What can you say to the ladies out there that don't like being submissive? They got a problem with that. What would you say to them? But then they must not even want to settle down. 
mm. because you have to be submissive yeah. in order to, you know, you can't just be controlling the whole situation. Mm hmm. And I'm not saying that he has to be extreme because a lot of women don't like to be controlled. I don't like to be controlled either, but being submissive doesn't necessarily mean ain't got to be controlled. It's just yeah. being, you you there for your man. You cooking for him, cleaning for him. Exactly. Doing what you're supposed to do as a woman. Right, right. And this is how I look at it. You know, I was raised by my grandma. Maybe I got old mm -hmm. set ways in my mind. You know, the younger generation, they different. Yeah. It, it didn't flip with the women. The women, the niggas, the niggas, the women. 360. And <laughs> but, shit, shit, crazy. So, but me, you know, I mean... I honestly feel like if you want a healthy relationship, just a little, you can be, you don't have to be 100% submissive, just a mm. little bit. Yeah. And and just show him that you care, mm -hmm. then it takes you a long way. Because a lot of times, you never know what your man going through. Yeah. You don't know that's, what you're going through, but real. you know what he's going through, because he working hard, you don't know what he's dealing with at work. Mm -hmm. Right. So, just be each other's peace. And if being a little submissive is his peace, then do it. Now, be a lot of submissive, because his <laughs> women nowadays, Bye. it's like, Goddamn G.I. Joe bitches. They, they here, know man. that they're in a leadership position yeah. at work. They know they're in a leadership position as a, uh, you know, DJ or something yeah. like that. So right. technically, a lot of women mentally feel like they don't need a man. But, but like, I, like, I like a man to take control. The but submission, and then, though. Wanna, like, wanna, like, 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 in a relationship, I be want to be the person to treat him every mm. now and then. But I let a man be a man. You let a man be a man. Mm. At the end of the day, you got to yep. let a man be a man. Because you're not the man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right about that. I'm just finna say, goddamn, we're gonna end on that one right there, man. We're hey, gonna end on that one. We're gonna submit to that one. Yeah, for sure.